Sucks to be you, rich people. Look at that though. It's a creature. Let's calm down, my people. Let's calm down. It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another what I ate in a day video But once again, we are eating like someone else for a day, which is very exciting So today we're eating like the one and only avant-garde vegan Yes, okay. We are eating like Gaz from Avant Garde Vegan. I believe he is a professionally trained chef So a little intimidating Okay. To be honest, I love his videos. I think they're super well produced, beautiful. His whole life is just aesthetic, okay? Which is not me. It's not me. Everything is just like perfection. Plants just elegantly in the background, you know? His plates are all just beautiful. Like there is not a mess in sight. And then for me, I have like, you know, my headphones and, and a dirty cup in the background. That's my that's my life. He is like a very chefy type of person, and I'm just a person type of person. But we're gonna eat like him for a day. I believe this is my third video in this series. If you guys want to check out my other videos of me eating like other YouTubers for a day, I will link those videos down below. And I'm excited to do more of these. So if there's anyone else you want me to eat like for a day, vegan or non-vegan. Leave me a comment down below. I did find his what I ate in a day video in quarantine edition and It seems doable <laughs> It looked doable and then he started making bread and I was like, oh god, I have to make bread <sighs> Okay, then let's see what happens. Let's get started. <laughs> Good morning guys. So it is time for breakfast so It looks like Gaz eats oatmeal porridge for breakfast, which is Easy enough. The only thing is it looks like the oatmeal he's using is like a, um, a powder. Powder is not the right term. Oat flour. It looks like he's using oat flour. Maybe I'm crazy. It looks like it's oat flour. It looks like a very fine oatmeal. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to grind up my rolled oats. As a vegan, I eat very little oatmeal. I used to eat it a lot more, but I have to be in the mood. Hmm. <laughs> I found the oatmeal. I mean, it's not as fine as his oats looked, but I'm hungry. Oats? We're gonna do a cup of the non-dairy milk. Is that too much milk? We'll find out. Guys, check out this sunrise. Isn't it beautiful? So beautiful. And can we take a moment to appreciate the Rocky Mountains, guys? Yes. We can see the Canadian Rockies from where we live. It's one of the best things about living here. It's about an hour and a half drive away from me. Oh, actually more of an hour, but Canadian Rockies, my friends. So I think it's starting to come together. I kind of like this consistency where it's like really porridgey. Ooh, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Let that cook a little bit longer. Ooh, guys, let's get that oatmeal shot. For sweetener, it looks like he adds in some coconut sugar. Let's mix that in. Ooh, some coconut flakes. And he said he added in dry fruit because it was quarantine and he didn't have any fresh fruit. But I have fresh fruit, so I'm gonna add in some fresh raspberries. Otherwise, I would probably just add in um, frozen fruit. He also adds in some chia seeds. Mmm, some almonds. I also do have some dry fruit, so I'm just gonna add that in. I just have some dry cranberries from our Thanksgiving. Maybe just a little bit. Peanut butter, or some sort of nut butter. I'm gonna add in peanut butter. I don't know exactly which one he did. Here's my breakfast inspired by uh, Gaz Oakley. I mean, let's be honest, we're gonna mix everything together, right? Oh, I didn't get a picture. <laughs> Fail! There's my messed up breakfast because I am a terrible YouTuber. Oh well. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I really like the consistency. Mm. Let's get a bite with everything. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, one thing I forgot about is that Gaz actually drinks tea with his breakfast. And you guys know I am much more of a coffee drinker and I did have some coffee this morning. I don't know if that's allowed, but I did, okay? But I'm gonna make some tea. Okay. Again, I'm not a huge tea drinker. I do drink it at night sometimes, but I rarely drink it during the day. So I don't really have much tea. I have a little matcha powder in here. We're gonna do this. We're just gonna pour the hot water. 
Mm. Now I don't know what kind of tea he was drinking, but I don't think it was matcha, but it's, it's fine. It's still tea. Mmm, <sighs> matcha. Tea. Yummy. It's not a cheap lazy vegan what I ate in a day, I'll tell you that much. So it looks like Gaz decided to, of course, bake his own bread because, you know, why would you not? So I'm going to attempt to bake his bread recipe. Honestly, I've never made my own bread, so this should be a very interesting, uh experience. I'm not a good baker. I really am not. We need 750 grams of bread flour. I have all purpose. It's all purpose. I can use it for all purposes, correct? So if you are someone that's never made their own bread and you want to try this recipe and you want to see if it's like doable, maybe, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. If I can't do it, you can probably still do it. Here we go. Here we go. We can do this. I'm going to be a woman that can make her own bread. 750 grams of flour. <sighs> Let me just breathe for a second. Okay, why, why do I always get so flustered? Fast active dry yeast, also known as quick rise instant yeast. I think they're the same thing, fast acting and quick rise, same thing. We also need some lukewarm water. Let's see if I know what lukewarm means. All right, friends, I think that's lukewarm. <laughs> we'll find out together. And we need 12 grams of fast active dry yeast. Three teaspoons. Let's whisk this. Three teaspoons of salt. Once again, not prepared. <laughs> it's funny because in the video, Gaz is like, oh, I don't have my film crew with me and I have to film this myself and I don't know if the quality is good enough. And I'm like, your video is like beautiful and I never have film crew, so. Welcome to my life. So let's mix that in. Okay, I'm doing things all over the place, guys. Just watch his video. <laughs> so we need to add in some maple, hmm? So we're gonna add in three tablespoons of maple syrup into the yeast mixture. Another thing about me is that I'm really bad at following instructions. So let's hope that I'm following this correctly. Usually I just don't pay attention and that's my issue because I am impatient. I'm just gonna... Mmm. Mmm! Maple syrup. Oh, now I'm craving pancakes. Let's mix that up. And he also adds olive oil into this uh, yeast water. I ran out of olive oil. I'm actually gonna use... This is like fancy, okay? This is like a black truffle olive oil. Although to be honest, you can't really taste any of the truffle. I mean, it's technically still olive oil, so I think it's fine. I think the yeast is active. <laughs> it's super foamy and um, I'm gonna make a little well as, uh, as Gaz did. I don't really know the purpose of doing this part, but I always see people doing it. You wanna add a little bit at a time. Ooh, uh, very foamy. More foamy than his yeast. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit at a time and mix it as we go. I feel like I need it all. Okay, I'm gonna add it all because I think I need it. Do I use my hands now? So it looks like I can just get it straight onto the counter and uh, I guess we can just knead it for about six to eight minutes. Apparently so. I never know how to knead things. Hey Google, set a timer for six minutes. Sure, six Whoa. minutes, starting now. Okay, you don't have to yell at me. Is this supposed to be sticky? A lot of questions. Whew, it really is a, is a workout. You don't need a gym, you just need to make bread. Hey Google, how do you know when bread is kneaded enough? If the dough is kneaded enough, it will not tear easily and a translucent membrane will be visible. What? Translucent membrane will be visible? Like what? What kind of words? Okay guys, you're like, shut up Rose, just knead the bread. Okay. One eternity later. So I think it's kind of come together. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, this looks pretty, it's pretty good. What do you think, guys? So apparently I have to lightly oil a bowl. I'm just gonna use the same bowl, lightly oil it. So now I put it in here, cover it up, and then you have to wait for it to rise to double its size. So that's what it looks like now. So I'm gonna leave it kind of like in the sun, kind of. And then, um, oh look, I have a little, Lipstick stain on my uh, napkin. Let's just turn that over. 
I'm um, gonna let this rise and then we'll check back on it. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Moment of truth, guys. Woo! Definitely doubled in size. Uh, apparently you have to knead it again. So let me just, uh, ooh, oh my God, guys. I feel like I did this properly. <laughs> okay, I don't know how much to knead it for. <laughs> I'm very excited now. This is exciting. Now I can make my own bread. Okay, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's make sure this works out first. With more, oh, it smells good, guys. It smells like bread. Cute. Nice and chubby. Okay, I'm gonna just uh, stick it back in here. Whew. He said we need a damp towel on top so i'm gonna dampen this there we go so i'm gonna wait approximately an hour and then we'll check back on it okay guys so before i check on the bread which or the the dough i'm gonna start preparing lunch gaz made a warm salad and he just kind of took out what's in his fridge which is awesome and i think that's very relatable which is great he took out this like buckwheat mixture that he made that looked like there was quite a few spices in there and he basically suggested that you can just use whatever grain that you want so i don't have buckwheat but i do have some barley and some brown rice. So what I'm gonna do is actually cook up some barley and some brown rice in the rice cooker. I don't know if I wanna add in some flavor. I think I do wanna actually add in a little bit of spices with the uh, barley and the brown rice while I'm cooking it. And then we can make our warm salad. To be honest, I've never actually really worked with barley too many times. I feel like it would work the same as cooking brown rice in the rice cooker. We'll find out together. Maybe we'll do two cups of each. Yes. So basically we're making barley rice. And fun fact, back in the day in Korea, white rice was actually very expensive. And so only rich people ate white rice. And then people that didn't have a lot of money would actually mix in a lot of barley with their rice to save on costs. So if you're like rich, you would eat the white rice. And then if you're poor, you would eat like barley rice. And then people realize later on that barley is actually really good for you. So sucks to be you, rich people. Funny how those things shift, hey? And then I'm just gonna give this a quick rinse. So I've got the rice and the barley in here, appropriate amount of water, and I'm just gonna add in some random stuff. I don't know what he had in his buckwheat thing. I'm gonna add about half a block of veggie stock cube. I'm just gonna break it up. Ooh. Uh, I'm just gonna eyeball everything. I'm just gonna add some cumin. We're gonna add some garlic powder. Some uh, onion powder. Paprika, ooh, and actually, ooh. Oh God, seriously, I'm such a mess. I'm gonna add in a little bit of curry powder as well, just because. And then we're just gonna give it a quick mix. And then hopefully this works in the rice cooker. Hopefully the uh, barley cooks the same way as the brown rice. All right, let's get this in the rice cooker. And now for the very exciting part, let's check up on that dough. Okay, look at that dough. Look at that dough. Do you see that little bump? Do you see it? <laughs> it's so cute. All right, I am very excited for this, you guys. Thankfully, today is a very beautiful sunny day. Let's, uh, let's first reveal. Holy moly, is this normal? Uh, it is huge. Is it gonna calm down? <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it on a, oh God. <gasps> My lower, okay, it looks like a creature. It's a creature. Uh, I mean, is it gonna get huge? I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> we'll find out together. It's like kind of wrinkly. I wanna, I wanna make little lines on it. Let's see what happens. Guys, it's so cute. It's like a creature. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. That's me, it's promising. Okay. Do I want to dust it more? Like... <laughs> okay, I'm just waiting for the oven to preheat and then get it in there. I'm actually, you know, pretty impressed so far with myself. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but so far it looks like a cute little creature that I created. So cute. All right guys, the oven took 10 years to heat up, but now it's done. I mean, it's not done. The oven is preheated and I'm gonna bake it for 45 minutes according to his instructions. Ooh. In the meantime, I quickly chopped up some vegetables. So I chopped up some broccoli and some kale to go with the lunch. So very excited about that. Okay, 
I forgot to also add in some carrots. Now while I'm waiting for the rice to cook, I'm actually going to season the veggies a little bit. I'll just add in some cumin, garlic powder. Looks like he adds in some soy sauce as well. Red pepper flakes, give it a nice kick. Looks like he also adds in some pistachios, so I'm going to add in a quarter cup of pistachios. And the rice and barley mixture is almost completed, so we can add that in. Ooh! <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Ooh! All right, my friends, this looks pretty legit. Throw some of this into my warm salad. I am going to throw in two cups of the rice and barley mixture. I'm gonna make this into two servings. So two cups of that, and I'm also going to throw in one cup of lentils. I just had some canned lentils, and he did suggest to put in lentils. That's an option, so I'm going to take that option. But let's mix this up. Mmm, it's very simple, but very nutritious. I'm gonna give it a little taste to see if it needs more seasoning. A little more soy sauce. A little more of the crushed red pepper. You guys know I love a good kick. Guys, this looks delicious. I love a warm salad. I'm glad he made a warm salad. One last thing I'm gonna add, and I think he added this, cilantro. Mmm, guys, cilantro goes with everything. Maybe not everything, but it's so good. All right, let's plate this, baby. I'm gonna eat about half, which looks like a lot, but it's mostly vegetables, my friends, okay? So it's fine. You can eat a lot of veggies. Ooh, my friends. I mean, that looks delicious, does it not? Mmm, top of the little more cilantro. And you know what? I do have to add Rose's final touch, some sriracha, if it'll come out of the bottle. Does this happen to you guys like so often? Come on. Mmm. <laughs> okay, you guys. I mean, does that not look delicious? There is my warm salad. I'm so excited to eat it. Can't wait. Oh, by the way, the barley in the rice cooker worked beautifully. I'm gonna eat this and then I will see you guys for the bread update. Yay! Guys, this is so good. I'm really enjoying it. It's super simple, but love the textures. It's just like a really healthy, hearty, quite filling salad and I'm so enjoying it. I decided to halfway through add in a little bit of vegan kimchi because you guys know I love my kimchi. Everything is delicious with kimchi. If you guys need a kimchi recipe, link down below. Well, that's finished. And that is lunch for tomorrow. Let's take out the bread. Ooh. Oh my God. Guys, can we take a moment? <gasps> do you, do you see this creation? <laughs> oh God. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this creation. Now, I don't know how it's gonna be. It seems a, a little hard. <laughs> Is this supposed to be rock hard? Do I have to wait to cut it? I don't wanna wait. It cuts. Oh my God. Ooh, guys, it's not bad. It looks legit. It's kind of soft on the inside. I think I should let it cool. Let's calm down, my people. Let's calm down. I'm happy. I haven't tasted it yet, but I made my own bread. Did that just happen? Yay! I really want to taste it like now, but I'm gonna let it cool for like maybe 10 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll taste it. All right, guys. So here it is. I'm gonna eat this piece with some vegan butter. So let's do some vegan butter. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, do you see this, guys? Oh, first tiramisu, now bread. I am basically a homemaker. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder to make it like garlic bread. Okay, let's try this. Moment of truth, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. Is this real? Did I make bread? Mmm. Like, am I dreaming? I'm gonna try a little piece without anything. You guys, it is perfect. It's so good. Mmm. 
It's a nice and soft in the inside. The crust is like perfect. Mm-hmm. It's like great on its own as well. It has like a right amount of saltiness. Try this recipe. It's so good. Mm. I can now make bread. Mm. Thank you guys for the awesome recipe. I will definitely be making this again because it is so good. Mm. All right, friends, so it's been a few hours and I've just been sitting and doing some work, editing a video. Daz actually did a home workout because he was in quarantine. Uh, good news is the gyms where I live are currently open for a few more days, okay? They're closing again in just a few days, so I'm actually gonna get in a gym workout. This is gonna be my second last gym session for God knows how long. So I'm actually gonna go to the gym and do the workout, but um, yeah, soon I will also be back. To the home workouts <sighs> also guys i had so much bread i think i had like i had a lot okay but it was so good so i just got back from the gym i'm a bit sweaty okay but um i think i'm gonna start oh hello hi hello my butt so i'm gonna make what guys made for dinner which looks like some delicious curry oh god you guys i'm too lazy to get lights okay can we just deal with this crappy light situation i know you guys don't expect cinematic things from my video okay one thing i did do which i'm very proud of because i'm usually never prepared but because i did watch his video yesterday he did use dry chickpeas to cook his curry so what he did was he soaked his dry chickpeas and then threw in these soaked chickpeas into his curry so i actually soaked some chickpeas in advance i actually started this last night guys i know so they are nicely soaked i used to cook my beans from scratch when i used to live in london and stuff and um i kind of stopped doing it because i just got lazier i guess and canned just seemed so much easier so anyways i'm gonna make his curry according to the video wish me luck all right so the first thing he uses is green onion and you guys you know what i do with green onions I save the heads and I soak them in water and then it grows brand new green onion. I think this is the last time I can soak it. It's kind of become gross. So it does get gross after a while, but this is like the second batch that grew. Next thing he uses is sweet potato and it looks like he doesn't peel his sweet potato. I thought about not peeling it, but I don't know guys. I always peel my sweet potatoes. I just can't really, no, I don't want the skin. Maybe I'll leave half. Should I? No, no, I'm peeling it, okay? It's my dinner. So I'm just gonna start with some oil. And um, I don't have fresh ginger, so. Woo! No! It's too hot. Why do I do this to myself? All right, that's, that's fun. Ooh. Now I'm gonna add the spices. Uh, I'm just gonna add what I have because I don't have everything he mentioned. So I have some turmeric. He eyeballs everything, so I'm also going to eyeball everything. I don't know, turmeric, crushed red pepper. I assume that's what he means by chilies. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I need to add the bay leaf now, but I will add a few. I have some Thai. And he said he adds Jamaican curry powder. I only have regular curry powders. Again, just eyeballing. Oh, and because I don't have fresh ginger, I'm going to add in some ground ginger. Just add in whatever. Uh, okay, now it looks dry. What do I do? So I don't know how much chickpeas he's adding, but I'm adding that much. Uh, he also added in soy sauce. I'm using tamari. It's basically the same thing. Next ingredient, tomato puree. I'm assuming tomato paste. Mm. I feel like I want to add some more of the beans. Let's add another little. Some coconut milk. Just a can of coconut milk. Oh, and look at that. This one is separated. Oh my word. Oh, it's like frozen. What the hell happened? If you guys watched my uh, tiramisu video, you'd know what I'm talking about. I mean, this is some solid coconut milk. Why does it always seem to separate when you don't need it to separate? Anyone else? Anyone else feel me on this one? I feel like anytime you need that coconut milk separated, it's never separate. Anytime you don't need it separated, it's freaking separated. Oh, actually, I have some more coconut milk that I need to use up. Oh, nope, it's gone bad. <laughs> never mind. Let's add in some more water. That coconut milk is thick. It smells good, though. 
All right, friends, so the chickpeas are gonna cook in about 45 minutes to an hour. It's gonna be a while. So what I'm gonna do is bring this mixture to a boil and then turn the heat down to like a medium low-ish maybe and then just kind of let it cook for a while. So thank God I had all that bread because otherwise I would be starvation, starvation mode. All right, so one thing that Gaz does that I'm not going to do is he actually makes a wheatgrass shot and does the shot. Okay, so that's his way of getting in some more greens and some micronutrients into his diet, I'm sure. Unfortunately, I have no ability to make myself a wheatgrass shot. I don't have wheatgrass. I don't have a juicer. I was actually going to go and see if I can find somewhere that sells wheatgrass shots, but it's already dark. It's late. I'm hungry. I'm lazy, quite frankly. So no wheatgrass for me. I apologize. So another thing that Gaz makes to have with his dinner is actually some coleslaw. He actually just chops up some purple cabbage and some carrots, I believe, cilantro, and also some vegan mayo and salt. And um, I was lazy once again. So I bought a coleslaw mix, but seriously, it's so much easier. I have this. And I do have cilantro, so I'm gonna chop up the cilantro and um, we'll make the coleslaw before the uh, curry is finished so that I can eat immediately as soon as the curry is finished. Okay. I don't know how much I wanna make. And I'm actually gonna use a little garlic salt instead of just regular salt. I never thought about putting cilantro in coleslaw, but... Mmm. Yummy. My God, you guys. Doesn't this look fabulous? So it's been about 45 minutes. I did check up on it a few times, added just little splashes of water, and I'm just gonna try a chickpea to see if it's cooked. I think it could use another 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> ready i can't wait to dig in oh my god i'm so excited i mean look at that so i added in a little bit of spinach and some more cilantro and i'm also using the same rice and barley mixture that i made earlier today because why not and oh my god you guys i feel like i've waited all my life for this mmm mmm so much flavor mmm Mm. Chickpeas are cooked to perfection. There's definitely something about cooking the chickpeas from scratch. They're a lot, what's the word, firmer in texture, not as mushy. Mm. Mm. So that pretty much concludes my what I ate in a day video, eating like Gaz Oakley from Avant Garde Vegan. I very much enjoyed all the food. It was very fantastic. I mean, this curry is definitely a highlight. It's so good. And also the bread making. Oh my lord. I am just floored. I am now a woman that can make bread. What? Oh, I know. Anyways, if you guys haven't yet, don't forget to check out Gaz's channel. It is Avant Garde Vegan. He has so many amazing, beautiful vegan recipes. And I'm glad that I tried eating like him for a day, even though I thought it was a bit intimidating, but you know, honestly, it wasn't that bad. Proud of myself for making bread. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know, you guys, who you want me to eat like next, okay? Leave a comment down below. Who do you want me to eat like next? It can be a vegan or a non-vegan, so leave me some suggestions down below. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and um, maybe watch a little tele, yes and um, I will let you go. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.